Hi everybody, Tom Chapman here, and welcome back to my Map Tool tutorial series. Today we're going to be talking about another campaign property, specifically Site. Now, it's easiest to just walk you through this by showing you what Site is and how to get this set up, so we're just going to go straight to Map Tool. Here I am in my Map Tool campaign properties, and I've gone up here and I've gone to the category Site. Map Tool comes with pre-made site options for tokens. And this site menu allows you to add custom vision options. So if we look down here, there's a certain format that we have. And I'm going to show you how to deal with this format by creating a new type of site that I can use in my tokens. So first, we come up with a name. Uh, I'm going to just call our new name Sample Site. Now, that's the name. In order to do everything else, we just have to put in a colon. So I'm going to add my colon. And if I just left this blank, really all that would happen is sample site would default to normal that we can see right here, just a circle that goes out a certain distance. And it's got a default setting. So in order to change that, we have to go from there. The first option that we can add is the shape of our vision. Map tool has come with mainly circle and a square option, but there's also an option where you can have conic vision. Again, it's just a cone, it's based on uh, facing. And so we're going to do with that, for fun, I'm going to use a cone. So I'm going to put a space after my colon, and I'm going to type the word cone. Now in between each aspect of site that you add, you need to put a space. If you don't put a space, then Map Tool doesn't know what you're trying to ask it to do. Now add a space, and we're going to come up with the next thing that we can add. We can also define distance. So distances can be decimals. For example, circle vision, uh, if we look up here under dark vision, has a distance equal to 62.5. And so what this does is it takes the distance and it makes it line up evenly with the edge of the grids because the distance is married, measured from the middle of a square and not from the edges. So what I'm going to do for our conic distance I'm going to go ahead and make it 60. And so I'm going to type distance equals 60. Now conic vision comes with a special aspect that nothing else does. It allows you to set the arc. So if we look up here at conic vision that's already put in here, it says arc equals 120. And this 120 is in the form of degrees from 0 to 360. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set my arc vision, and I want it to be a little thinner than what the standard is. So I'm going to put a space and put arc equals 90. So now I have a 90 degree arc to look out from. If we bring our eyes down here, there's another option called offset. Now what offset does is it, again, is only for arc vision or for cone vision. And it offsets it counterclockwise by the number of degrees that you put in. Now I'm not gonna mess with this and I'm not really sure what you would use this for because I experimented with it earlier and I had uh, my token that was facing one direction but its vision was going the other. So again, not really sure what it's used for. So for now, I will include no offset. Next, we have multipliers for light sources. So if I look up here for low light, low light tells us it's a circle x2. So that means any light source that you put on a token, it will double the effect of that light source. So for now, I'll keep it simple. I'm going to come down here, put a space, and I'm just going to use a double multiplier. So any light sources that any token that has this sample site uses, will multiply it by 2. And we'll just keep it easy. Now last, we can set a default vision option to have a personal light centered on that token. If we look up here to dark vision, this is how dark vision is applied in Map Tool. So what happens is when you apply this sort of vision to a token, no matter if it's day or night, it will automatically, when you select dark vision, have a distance of 60 for its natural light. Now I want this kind of dark vision, and as an example, I'm not going to make it quite as big. I'm only, I only want a 10 foot natural light radius, so I'm going to come here and put R10. Now I have my sample site. If I go through it all, I have the name, colon, what kind of vision, how far the vision is. Because it's conic vision, I have the size of the arc. I have a double light multiplier, 
and I have natural dark vision or a natural light source of 10 feet. Now I'm going to show you how all of this comes together on a default map. So I'm going to click OK, and I'm going to come up here to my library, and I'm going to find mapping, tokens, and I'm just going to grab a random 4E monster. And there's actually an elf scout right here. So I'm going to drag this elf scout out here. And it is now defaulted. Everything that's been saved on this token is there. I haven't assigned anything. So I'm going to go into it, go to config. I'm going to come to the site, and I'm going to find my sample site that I just added here in the drop-down menu. Then I'm going to select to make sure that it has site, and click OK. Now when I hover over it, you can see that it's got an arc of 90 degrees of a white kind of wedge that comes out. So that's the vision of this token. Now because it's conic, if I click on it and hit shift and mouse wheel up, it changes the direction it's facing and therefore changes the direction that the vision, the conic vision is facing. You'll also see that if I hit control G, the vision goes out 60 feet. Now if you notice over on the far right, the furthest reach of my conic vision, that it only goes halfway through the square because I put in exactly 60 feet. So it only goes halfway out because it starts halfway in the middle of my grid square. Now to see the light and dark vision options in action, I will switch the map to night mode. Come up here to map, go to vision, and click on night. And then I'm also going to add fog of war. So now we have night, and if we come over here, because it has no light source, we see that our token now has a shorter vision distance. If you remember, we gave it a natural vision of 10 feet, but we also said multiply any light source by 2. So if we look at this, this guy is now looking out 20 feet. Now to show how the multiplier affects it, I can come onto this guy, right click on him, and I can come down to light source. And I'll just go to D20, and I'll give him a lamp. And so I'm going to click on lamp. And what we now see is that the lamp gives us a normal vision of out to 15 feet, but that multiplier brings us now out to 30 feet. And because of the way that it dimly lights beyond that, it then dimly lights out to 60 feet. Now in the next video, I'll tell you more about how to add light sources and customize some light sources. But for now, that's all we have on site and how to set it up. It's a pretty basic concept and you can use it in any way that you wish. So uh, for now, that's all and I'll see you in the next video.